What is going on guys? Welcome back to Evolve Football. Um, we are here back on another analysis. Um, so pretty much today we're going to do Gonzalo Higuain. Um, he just got transferred from Chelsea. Um, from Chelsea. Great. <laughs> Great way to start. He just got transfer transferred from the Italian league to Chelsea. Um, and he is now... Uh, he just recently played, so this is the most recent game uh, from yesterday uh, where he played. And hopefully you do like this analysis video, and hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. Please, I hope and pray it doesn't. But uh, yeah, enough of that. We're going to get straight into the analysis. Um, just thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, we're going to be uh, watching and analyzing Gonzalo Higuain, number 9, and he's a striker for Chelsea. Let's get into it. Disclaimer, this content is transformative in nature and has research slash analytical slash educational purposes. Alright guys, so for the first play, Iguain has checked off his uh, defender who is in the back four. He's going to run into the space where that referee is, exactly where the ball is going. He's running to the ball and if you can't see there, he's got one defender plus another one who is coming onto Iguain's right shoulder when I play the game. Um, but yeah, he's got a put himself into that position um, and like get into um, in front of the player because if he gets behind the player obviously he won't get the ball first so as a striker you should um, check off your defender and at least go into the pockets of space where your midfield can see you and can um, pass you the ball so you can either turn or just lay it off again to another midfielder but as you can see here he literally has at least three uh, defenders looking at him plus the fourth one behind him and fifth on his right shoulder so as long as you take a good touch and you know who you're gonna pass it to next uh, you should be fine but this movement is really really great from a striker like him I'm also gonna pause it right here where he gets tackled um, because you guys are wanting to play like Iguain or a striker similar to how he plays um, Iguain plays um, from the back line and he always likes to come into the middle um, so these are the times when defenders are gonna actually um, get at you and try to tackle you or get the ball off you and um, the one thing I would suggest for any player who's attacking in an attacking position would be to either fall down when you get tackled either fall down um, when you're actually gonna get tackled don't dive I mean just just fall down to the ground because you're at least gonna get a foul or um, or a free kick or something like that um, because if you if you guys are in the lower leagues um, usually the players that get tackled like this are either gonna try to stand stand up and it's gonna be difficult and you're gonna try to lose your balance a bit but you're gonna stay up because you know it's fair but sometimes you got to be smart and fall down on these types of tackles so you can get a free kick for your team because at the end of the day you're playing for your team and you want your team to win so you got to be smart in these decisions and Iguain has done this for countless of years and uh, he's um, now got a foul so which is really really great for Chelsea um, in a position like this also the way that he falls down isn't a dive or anything like that it's like a normal fall so if you explicitly try to dive and do all crazy rolls and stuff when you're on the ground obviously the referee is going to pick up on that and you're going to get a yellow card but this is what I wanted to uh, point out that when you're actually getting tackled hard make sure you drop down to the ground because you want to get that foul so yeah let's go on to the next one alright so here as you can see Iguain is going and this is his style of pressing um, when you're a striker, you're also pressing and also defending and coming back because you want to help your teammates as much as you can. As, as you can see here, Iguain um, presses this defender as the ball is bouncing up in the air and this defender is about to head it back to the goalkeeper. Um, this is the type of pressing you have to do. You have to force yourself to sprint and make sure that you are putting pressure on the other team so that they don't have any chance to think. Um, so that they are panicking and all that type of stuff obviously the higher leagues you go the more confident and more comfortable these defenders are going to be but at least if you're on them all the time and you don't let them have any space to think um, you're going to be a really really great striker even on the offensive and defensive so you got to play both styles um, and Iguain shows this like time and time again um, Right now, I'm going to unpause it and show you that he's going to go all the way to the goalkeeper and even press the goalkeeper. Even if the goalkeeper grabs the ball, you're still going to go all the way with high intensity because 
if there's any chance that the goalkeeper might fumble the ball when grabbing the ball back or even controlling it with his feet, um, there is a chance for you to actually score a goal. So in any chance like this, make sure you press hard and press fast and don't let the defenders or opposition have any time to think. So as you can see here, he's still pressing and he goes all the way to the goalkeeper as you can see there. Um, he puts him, his head up and he, he thought he was really, really close. So make sure you guys do that. Make sure you go all the way to the goalkeeper and don't stop. Because um, I said, as I said, there could be a chance that you guys could actually get the ball because the goalkeeper made a mistake. Um, and this is one thing that I don't see many strikers doing um, these days, even in the lower league. So make sure uh, you do this because it'll make you different to any other player. Alright, so here's another one where this number 28 passes Iguain the ball. Um, he has... He like puts himself to the left hand side so he can receive because obviously the guy was running into five defenders as you can see there there's four and then the fifth one on the line and then there's another one right next to Iguain. so as you can see he was not going to go through all those defenders so he lays it off to Iguain. then Iguain has a little he puts a little touch in front of himself because he knows that defender on his left hand side is gonna um, try to press him which is great um, and now he is you know in a great position to look up and see if there's any option to either cross it in um, into the box or either pass it back um, and we'll see that right now okay so as you can see here he takes too many touches um, this is a mistake that he did during this game um, also the most professional players like the highest ranking players you can think of Neymar, Messi, Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo all the top players you can think of make mistakes that no one's perfect in a professional league everyone makes mistakes and they learn from these mistakes the smart players are the ones that learn from these mistakes and like try not to do it again obviously you're only human and you make so many mistakes during the season so as you can see here um he took too many touches too long he, he put his head up which was great um he had control of the ball but unfortunately um he didn't either put his hand out to like tell himself when the defender was coming or he didn't he thought he just passed him uh, and he thought he had more time on the ball so as you can see here the defender comes out from behind him he tries to go on the right hand side of Iguain which he successfully does and then he puts his toe out to just kick the ball out from underneath Iguain um, and he didn't find any opposition opposition I mean he didn't find any of his teammates to pass it to so in that tackle the the ball just goes straight towards the back line of the Chelsea team um, which is great for them um, but yeah when you get yourself in those types of positions where you don't know who to pass to I suggest either just passing back because you know you're always gonna keep possession because the worst thing you can do is either just like force a ball like a cross and you guys are just gonna have a 50 50 chance or the other opposition is just gonna grab the ball off from you um, but you know what just make sure you just pass it back to your team because as long as you do that your team is going to have majority of the ball and i think possession is one of the most key um, valuable um, things and assets for your team the most possession you have and the more time you feel comfortable on the ball with your whole team i feel like you're going to gain confidence and momentum throughout the game and uh this is one thing that you guys should um not do but even if you do just learn from these mistakes as you can see here, Iguain did that. So uh, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. So here, I wanted to show you this. Um, when Iguain is retrieving the ball back from the opposition team, like their defenders or midfielders, um, this is really, really great from him um, because when he's adding pressure onto the opposition, he comes from his back line. So the back four, he's always sitting up high. Um, either the left wing um, is going to sit up with him um, but when the opposition has the ball, he always drops back, which is really, really great um, for Iguain to do that. And his style of play is that's that's what he does. Um, he helps his you know team get the ball back. So as you can see here, the ball was headed uh, from this left back or right back um, into his midfielder. Iguain steps forward and he's actually sprinting at him. He's not jogging; he's sprinting, which is a big difference because when you're when the ball is bouncing and you're this midfielder on the other on the black team and you're trying to control the ball when you don't know who's going to come out from behind you it's a bit more 
in a situation where you're going to panic more because um, someone is actually sprinting behind you and you're hearing man on um, and you got to think fast on where to where to you know pass the ball before you even control it so as you can see here the ball is on its way down it's going to bounce up again um, and Iguain is going to you know put a lot of pressure on him which every striker or every player should do on the field um, and as you can see here he retrieves the ball back um, and you know causes a foul which I don't think that was a foul you know <laughs> Alright guys, so this is from one of the highlights of Iguain. This is the actual first chance that he actually um, got to nearly scoring a goal. So uh, this is his first chance. Um, as you can see here, he's on the back line. So there's one, two, three, four uh, defenders plus the fifth midfielder. And then the one on the right hand side, the number 20. Um, as you can see there, there's four at the back plus the midfielders um, and as you can see on the right hand side his teammate threads him the ball through the gap on the midfielders because I'm guessing the whoever was in that gap moved forward just to cover um, the other Chelsea player in the middle as you can see there next to the ref um, and Iguain is just so great at, at seeing these types of passes that he probably saw that movement going on and while his other player had the ball and was looking for someone to find that run, Higuain made sure that he, he 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 went into that space and went into that run. As you can see there, as a striker, you your your main goal when attacking is to be on the back line, be on be on their line, and make sure you like find runs that people aren't seeing and that you and your midfielder um, know where to like go so you know where to run your midfielder knows who to pass to or where to pass to because usually most of the times um, the professional leagues or even higher leagues um, the midfielders just find the space and they pass it into the space and then they just know that the striker is going to run into it or the winger so as you can see here Iguain is running into that pocket of space behind the three uh, defenders he's losing his man and then once he is um, actually um, into that space he takes a touch um, and then he takes another touch which I think he should have um, shot first time uh, but we'll take a look at that now okay as you can see there he runs into the pocket of the space he takes a touch and that touch brings the ball up which was I think unintentional um, which right now he's not in the in the greatest position to shoot but he somehow finds a way to shoot um, I think when you're in these types of positions you either would just shoot or take a touch, take another touch, turn around and pass the ball. But I think by then there would be way too many defenders in the box and you'll have to reset all over again and come back and then try to go again. But as you can see here, Iguain um, doesn't do that. He takes his touch um, and then he, you know, gets the ball on the ground and then shoots at goal. Um, he does miss, but at least it was a shot on goal and at least um, this way. When he makes these types of runs, um, next time the defense are going to be wary of him and they're always going to look behind themselves and see if Iguain is making those types of runs again because um, when you're doing this types of, type of run, um, it makes you very, very dangerous and unpredictable. Um, just when you, when you do this, make sure you just do different types of runs. Don't do the exact same one over and over and over again because in football, you don't want to be predictable. The thing is, you want to be unpredictable and the defenders are going to be like, where is this guy going? So you always want to do that and make sure you shoot at goal because you're a striker. You should, you should know how to shoot at the goal and you should be the one, you know, having, you know, the most goals on your team uh, unless your winger is just badass. So, um, yeah, these, these types of runs are great. Um, I'll just end this end this little thing here and I'll show you um, the shot. Um, and yeah, this is one of the best and I think you know one of Iguain's um, specialties um, as a striker. All right, so here, as you can see here, we get a better view of his run. Um, so I'm not too sure if he's offside, but I don't think so. I mean, he, he's got his foot there but i don't think so so this was an offside by the way if you guys haven't seen the game if you haven't go watch it because it's a really good game um or watch the highlights so anyways um as you can see here this is a different angle um i'm not too sure who that player is because i don't really watch chelsea <laughs> i watch man city sorry guys um sorry for the chelsea fans um 
but yeah he passes as you can see here there there's that gap it's so obvious you can see it um, usually the midfielders are just gonna pass the ball into the gap and into the space and usually in training or whoops or whatever uh, the high leagues as you go as I said um, the strikers will know where to run or the wingers will know where to run as Iguain is very smart and, and he's done this for so many years he knows where to run um, and how to lose his marker as you can see here the three the four actually the the whole team's looking at the person passing the ball um, and Iguain's the, no one's watching Iguain. he's the one that's running so he runs into the space um, and then he receives the ball and he takes a bad touch the ball goes up and then he shoots so this is a different angle as you can see here it's more clear um, for you guys to see and hopefully this guy this brings you strikers or who anyone who wants to be a striker some value into how to make runs and do this type of thing Alright guys, as you can see here, Iguain is making another run once again. Um, this is, you know, one of the greatest things that he does. Um, as you can see here, the ball is being is going to be lofted over um, the both, you know, defensive players on the other team's head. Um, Iguain runs into the space, but he just uh, can't control it because the ball is a bit too high for him. But as you can see here, the effort is great and. Um, you know these types of runs are something that you guys should be watching in each and every game that you watch professional or non-professional you should watch the strikers you know the main thing is that you watch a player that plays your position because then you can learn off that player and how he does his runs and everything about him so this is another great run that Iguain does all right guys as you can see here here is another um header shot i guess you can say um he's positioning himself in a way where he's just behind the defender but in front of him um as you can see he he'll be the first one to get the header onto the onto the ball um but as this plays out he gets the header he makes the connection but he doesn't have the power um because i think he he mistimed it a bit um which is unlucky of him but he actually gets it um, to the left hand side of the post which is pretty close but not close enough all right so here i wanted to show you um how deep Iguain actually goes when he's um coming back um to receive the ball as you can see here um the chelsea players are playing to the right because it's the second half now um so he's going from his position where the back line is um, on the right hand side where, where you can't see the screen but he's going all the way down to the halfway line and receiving the ball um, this is like a good trait that Iguain like he he makes in his game where he has to go back um, to help out the team as like a number 10 would do or a number 8 would do um, or a winger even like would do that um, type of movement um, this is a great thing that he's doing because he's not only helping his um, you know his team out he's also helping himself out um, because um, as long as your team has the ball you have you know you have the 100 percent chance that you could actually score or put something together um, and Iguain is as you can see he's a hard worker um, and at the age that he is um, you know he's still in really really great form um, so if you're a striker make sure you work hard make sure you're the person that um, is working the hardest on the field because you don't want to be lazy or ball watching because those things are not what a coach is looking for they want someone who's hard working and someone who can make the difference in the team so uh, make sure you learn off and and watch Iguain alright guys that's it from Iguain um, a play analysis on Iguain the number 9 um, now for Chelsea um, but he's just on loan by the way guys if you don't know he's on loan so um, I don't know how many years or how many months he's gonna be on loan I think for a season probably um, anyways Giroud is still playing as a number nine as well but um, I think during this game um, Iguain got subbed in the second half and then for Giroud so um, they're both playing I don't know how that's gonna work and plus Hazard I have no idea so um, Anyways, throughout the season, we're going to see Iguain um, hopefully score um, a goal, his first debut goal. I'll probably do another video on that if you guys want me to do it. Um, I like making these videos because it's something that um, I've seen one of you guys comment that you do like them. 
um, because it gives you guys value and, and it's very interesting because not many people on YouTube, especially a soccer, a football channel, however you want to call um, soccer or sport, um, don't do these types of things and, and it's mainly because of uh, copyright issues but it's also because this takes time and, and people who are you know experienced uh, as you can say, I'm 20 years old. I've had a lot of experience playing since I was six, seven years old. Um, and I've learned a lot from different clubs. I've bounced around from different clubs in, in Queensland. And um, yeah, I'm slowly getting my way up there. So uh, anyway, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up because it helps the video and my channel out a lot. It just makes this uh, video on the recommended page for any other people that like to watch football. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. As always, guys, strive to be better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.